Three, three things you must do to make more sales and get more signups in your network marketing business. So I'm Colin Yearwood from ColinYearwood.com. Over there, I share information that help employees transition to entrepreneurship. If you like information like that, if that's you, click the bell icon below, hit the subscribe button below, you will be notified. This is part five, part five of the Network Marketing Biz Builder Challenge. If you haven't caught the previous four videos, what's up? You're missing out. You want to click the look in the description below, you'll get a link to the previous four videos in this awesome series where we talk about a few things. We talk about how you can position yourself to get success online, how to become a magnet to attract people to you, how to tell stories, use your testimonials to tell more more effective stories to get signups and sales. You know, facts tell, stories sell. We talk about that. And then we talk about some simple scripts you can use to get started. All right, so in this video, we'll talk about the three things that you need to do to make more sales online. I'll go through them one at a time and help you identify them within you. At the end of this training, you can also get access to our Facebook group and also to our quick start guide. You may definitely want to jump on that because now it'll put everything together. that will help you go out there and make more sales, make more sales in your network marketing business. That's what you want to do. Get more recruits, grow your business, live your dream. So here's the training. What's happening guys? Welcome to day five of the Health and Wellness Biz Builder Challenge. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm excited that you're here. You made it to day five and got a solid day of training in store for you. Today we'll be talking about how to make more sales and recruit more team members into your business. So as you pop on in and you're checking out the replay, feel free to drop, drop me a hashtag letting me, letting me know that you're coming in on the replay. Also, let me know which, which uh, health and wellness company you're with because I'd love to uh, share any examples that are specific to your company. Um, if you'll have questions, feel free to ask the questions because that's one of the easiest ways for you to learn um, uh, by me answering your specific questions, right? I don't have to assume what you want to learn. I know exactly what you're looking to learn. So welcome aboard. Um, it's been a fun week. Hopefully, it's been a fun week for you. Hopefully, you've had a productive week. Uh, you've grown your business, uh, you've generated some leads, you've made some sales, maybe even ranked up, right? Um, hopefully it's been a great week for you as you went through this process. You've learned a few things that you were able to implement and potentially seen results already. I, I honestly believe if you implemented each day as you went along, you would be seeing results by now. So hopefully you've, you've uh, taken some time to implement what we've talked about. And feel free to ask me questions. If you feel stumped about something, ask me questions. I'd love to answer your questions. So let's recap quickly. Um, over the last five days, over the last actually four days, over the last four days, we talked about a lot of stuff. We started out day one talking about putting yourself in position to win. You know, setting yourself up in the right way, being a product of the product, being a health and wellness product, right? And Antonio Starr came in and did an awesome training on that. I appreciate Antonio for that. Plus, we went on to, to share a training with Jen Johnson that, and Jen talked about how to set up your Facebook profile the right way. You know, it's all putting yourself in position to win. So that was, that was day one. Um, hopefully you learned a few things from that day two. We talked about becoming a magnet, becoming that type of person, that magnet that attracts the right customers and business partners to you. And in that training, Antonio did a great job of talking about the importance of becoming a magnet because when you attract people to you by giving, when you attract people to you by giving and by being a resource, they want to give you their time. They want to give you their money. And then we dived into on day two also Jen Johnson's training that talked about defining your target audience. Who is it that you want to give to? Who is it that you want to serve? Who is it that you want to help? And when you're able to dive into it and knowing who those people are, you can go out and give and serve them. It attracts more of them to you and they become Curious about you, they become loyal to you because you're providing some valuable resources for them. Then on day three, Justice Egan, absolute rock star, came in and he shared his formula for creating stories, creating stories that sell. And we talked about how you can use your, per how you can structure your personal story to intrigue and pique curiosity that would lead to engagement and sales, right? In engagement leads in sales. Um, Justice also talked about using those, that same formula for, 
testimonials, right? Instead of posting the same old before and after testimonials, it's creating stories from those testimonials. I'll be shared how you can find some of those, exactly how to do that. That was day three. And on day four, I shared with you some, a couple of simple scripts that can, not can, that do work. You know, those are scripts I use to generate leads, make sales, and see how I can help people. Reaching out to people in a simple way um, that allows me to help them. And that was day four. All the training right now is still available. You can go back and check it out. Um, I don't know if it's going to be available longer, but you can, you know, more, a few days maybe. But you can go back and check it out. Um, you may not have had time all weekend to, all week to go through, but at the end of the week, the weekend comes about. Feel free to go through the training. They're all short and to the point. At least I think they are. Um, so hopefully you, you, you've enjoyed those four days. And today we'll dive into selling, how to sell, how to make more sales, how to sell more of your health and wellness products, and how to sell the opportunity more effectively in your business. Today, the only trainer is me, I. So I will be doing the training on selling. I um, would love to share with some, some real some tips that have helped me, but also have helped many of my clients get better results and shift in where they are um, in their business to generate those results, right? Um, if you find it difficult, and a lot of people find it difficult to sell, and to me, it starts with three key components that you need, three key things that you need to do to make more sales, you know, and it starts within you. Um, I've had the opportunity to do a quick interview with my friend Chris and Gia Lass year, I think last year around the same time, maybe last, uh, yeah, last April of 2017. And I'm going to share that interview clip because I, I, I figured out how to bring video into my Facebook live. So why not do it every day? I'm loving that. So let's jump into that interview, that interview clip. And I'm, in that clip, I will share three tips, three things that you can do today to start shifting your energy and shifting from where you are right now to becoming that person that would generate, that would be able to make more sales. Right? You don't generate sales. You make the sales because of you. Um, and let me just jump into that training. We'll come back and I have a few more tips I'll drop on you. Plus, there's a special um, bonus setup that I have and I want you to know about it. So let's jump into that video, learn about three things you can do to make more sales today. What do you do? You're a new network marketer, you're a new business entrepreneur, and you're not getting a lot of sales in your business, right? You're not a lot of customers. What is a few tips? What would you say, like, the biggest thing that they, that person can do to really increase their sales? Three quick things I'll mention. One is um, increase your confidence level. I think a lot of times when you're not having success with sales, you start questioning yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to get it. When you're doing sales, you have to have a high level of confidence because sales is basically an exchange of energy. If you're not, if you don't have a high level of confidence, usually your energy is low, and your prospects see you coming, and they're already going to say no because <laughs> you, you're not bringing any energy. Number two, increase your level of belief. And the easiest way to do that is by having results with your product. So, I mean, you have to use the product and actually have a result. Focus on getting a small result. If you, and if you weren't able to get a result, speak to someone who had a result. Because then you were able to get their confidence and learn firsthand how they've achieved that result. And number three, share tangible successes that your profit can have. What is the outcome that they can have by using your product or service? No hype, no flush, no fluff. Just what is a realistic outcome that they can have? How how will your product change your life? And that's what people want to know. So there you have it, guys. There are three simple tips you can do to increase your sales. I'll dive into all three of those areas in a little bit more, right? So one of the things, that, the first thing I talked about, and I'm a big believer of your your confidence, the way you approach selling. The way you approach your prospects, the way you approach your potential customers is so key. You have to have a high level of confidence. And to me, a lot of people say, well, I'm not confident. You know, I'm not sure about the product or the service. You know, what you want to do to develop a high level of confidence is find those things you've done well. Look, it's simple things. Look at the things that you've had success at. Just think about that, man. It could be anything. Going back to high school, you could, you could have been the captain of the football team, cheerleader, you know, cheerleading captain. You can just look back at what kind of results you've generated at your job, what kind of successes you've had in your life. 
Look for things that you've had successes with and lean on that to build your confidence. Stop looking at the things that you, you lack. A lot of people jump into sales and into network marketing and the first thing they said, well, I can't sell. Coming in, come into network marketing with that perspective will definitely be challenging for you. So one of the things you definitely want to do is stop telling yourself you can't sell. Stop ha not having that confidence about sales. Think about the last job interview you went on. You were selling. Think about what made you confident about going into that situation. Yes, you were nervous. But as you got going, you became a little more confident. Look for things in your life that has made you feel confident and lean on those things as you approach selling. All right. So having a high level of confidence is definitely key. Second, the belief. Belief in the product. Belief in the opportunity. Belief in yourself. Right. That is key to this whole process. When you're able to increase your belief level, I can tell you, well, the sky is blue because I know it's blue. I'm confident it's blue. I, I, I you know, that is, is a strong belief, right? Now, how you increase your belief is number one, by being a product of the product. Antonio talked about that on day one, I think, uh, when you talk about putting yourself in position, being a product of the product. You're being health and wellness. You could, you know, you're not only a product of the company's product you're using, but you're a product of the health and wellness space. So what does that mean? Number one, as I said in the video, look for a small result. You have to try to get a small result because if you're able to accomplish a result with your product, you're automatically more confident to talk to someone similar to you to get that result. You may have noticed in that video, I, I, I was a few pounds heavier. You know, I was having a, a rough time with my health and wellness journey, like we all do. But I was able over the last year to modify my lifestyle and I've had results. So I'm more confident now to tell someone about what I did to get the results because I've, you know, generate a result in your business. If you're not able to generate a result in your health and wellness business, if you're new, right? Look for someone in your company, within your company that's using a specific product that have gotten a result and just reach out to them. I just have a brief conversation. So I know a couple of people in this group have, are, are with TLC, um, Total Life Changes. And I know you guys sell like a tea, a weight loss tea, right? Now, if you haven't had success with it, if you're new to it, you hadn't, if you didn't lose the five pounds in five days, I think is the promise. Don't hold me on that. If you haven't had that result, find someone who's had that result. Ask them a few questions. What changed? What did you do? What ex how exactly did you make the tea? When exactly did you drink the tea? What did you eat during the day? Did you work out? What kind of work? How did you do? You know, you speak to them. Ask them questions. You guys have team groups. Every network marketing company has a team group. You know, you can feel free to reach out to people in your company. Reach out to your outline. Sometimes your outline is not helpful. It's a totally different story. Um, but reach out to the person and ask them, what did you do to hit that result? Now, when they tell you, and by the way, do it with someone who's similar to you. Because then it gives you belief. It increases your, not only your confidence in the product, but it gives you some belief that you can do it. Oh, I can do that. Oh, you stopped eating this and this and this, and these are the things you had for lunch, and you walked this, month, this amount of time. Great, I can do that. It increases your it, it increase your confidence. It increases your belief in the results that your products promise. Right? That's the second part. Number two, focus on, on the benefit. It's about focusing on how your product can, can help that potential customer. That how your opportunity can help that prospect. Right? And here's a couple of things about that. The way we're able to find out what benefit or what solution or problem the prospect is having is through conversations. And you cannot be afraid to talk to people. And that's one of the biggest things that holds a lot of network marketers, a lot of direct sellers back from selling, back from being successful in sales. They are afraid to talk to prospects. You expect to, especially on Facebook, people just drop links and run. You know, I, I call it like hide and seek selling. You know, you drop a link and you run and you hide, hoping the person click it. Well, well why should I click it? I don't know what it's going to do for me. You don't know what problem I have. You know, so speaking to your prospects is key to the selling process. I'll share with you some tips on how to become more effective or become more comfortable as you talk to your prospects. One of the other things you want to do when you're selling, especially if you're not comfortable with the selling process, and you only become comfortable with the sales process through doing it, you will make mistakes. You will say the wrong thing. Some people will not buy. That's some. That's how it is. No one is 100% in sales. So the 
go ahead and make the mistakes you need to make because you need to make the mistakes because you'll be you'll be you'll be you'll be able to learn from them. All right. One of the key things you can do is you're starting out selling in your network marketing company. Focus on selling just one product. I would recommend for the first 30 days or for a 30 day period, just focus on selling one product. Ideally, the product that you're using, ideally, the product that you've gotten a good testimonials about. When you focus on that product, you become more knowledgeable about the product. You understand the problems and the solutions that the problem provides, the problems the product solves and the solutions it provides. Now, that helps you transition into those conversations with your prospects, the prospects that can use that one product. All right. So now talking to your prospects is is key to it. And a lot of people are afraid to have those conversations. Even on Facebook, a lot of people are afraid to talk to people. They're just trying to pitch. The way I look at it is most of your prospects, they're more fearful than you are. They have more doubts and more insecurities than you do because they're reaching out to you for help. They're reaching out to you for help. So they're even in a worse position than you. They, they don't know as much as you do. And that's what you have to think about. They don't know the right thing for me to say to them. So what if I make a mistake? I can correct that. Your prospects are looking for help and you have to position yourself as that person to help them. And how you're able to help them is through, as I mentioned, asking questions. Now, one of the easiest ways to think about it is when you go to the doctor's office, as soon as you walk into the exam room, do the doctors start writing a prescription? No. They examine you, they talk to you, they ask you questions because they want to figure out exactly what is the problem you're having so they can provide the right solution. And that's the same thing you do with your prospects. Just have a conversation. Someone read, you post a story post about your weight loss journey, about your health and wellness journey, and someone reach out to you, just talk to them. You know, hey, Colin, thanks for reaching out to me. How long you've been, how long you've been on your health and wellness journey? Empathize with them. Oh, I've been on mine too about the same time. What kind of results are you seeing? They'll tell you. What kind of results you're looking for? What some of the challenges that you're having? Oh, I've had that same challenge too. You know, you just have that conversation. See what, see what they're looking to do. So ideally, how many, how much weight are you looking to lose in the next few weeks? So what is your goal? What's your ultimate goal? Have that conversation. They'll reveal to you what they want, what they're looking for, what they're looking to accomplish. Now, then you can recommend the right product that would help them accelerate that result they're looking for or maintain that result they're looking for. I hope you're getting this. I hope you're, you, you, you know, it's opening your eyes a little bit on how you can become better at selling. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, I will definitely answer those questions because to me, selling is fun. Um, personally, I haven't, maybe four or five years ago, you asked me if selling, I would not have said selling was fun, but it was a process that I committed myself to learn it because I understand if, if I wanted to help more people, and if, if you want to help more people, if you want to achieve your goals and your dreams when it comes to your business, you have to embrace selling. Because through selling is the only way. It's the only way you'll be able to make a huge impact on the people that you're looking to serve. Through selling is the only way you're gonna, you will be able to make an impact on your life. Because, you know, a couple mentors that I've had, I've heard them say, People who pay, pay attention. And people who pay more, pay more attention. Usually people who buy products from you are the ones that are more committed to getting the results that they claim they want to get. All right. Hopefully you find this of value and you're able to start selling in a more effective way. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to help you. So it's been a phenomenal week. I've enjoyed the week. Um, the training, I think, was aligned with the goal of helping you build your business. If you're serious about growing your business, growing your health and wellness business, let's take it to another level. 